Good afternoon and welcome to Vauxhall Road for live coverage of Hamilton Waterlooville versus Hemel Hempstead in the National League South. It is a cold Vauxhall Road. It was pretty warm this morning, but since we've had sleet, we've had borderline snow, and apologies for getting on air a little bit late, our fingers simply could not set up the equipment quick enough to bring you this broadcast because they are blocks of ice at the moment, but that matters not. What does matter is the 90 minutes we have ahead of us and 90 minutes for having a water Louisville to bounce back as we see a miscontroller routine pass there and that's put the Hawks under pressure and now heading it on to himself is the number nine Luke Holness. One on one with Sharman Lowe. Sharman Lowe saves with an outstretched leg and wow the Hawks almost falling behind just after he said the game was lacking its first chance. Luke Holness did ever so well to nod the ball down to himself Got one on one with Sharman Low. Now at the other end, Miller Rodney to try a strike from range, and that fizzes past the post. Fakes to cross, checks back to foul, left of centre, foul to Miller Rodney. Another shot from range, or no, Miller Rodney would instead just check it back inside. Foul has space to shoot. He'll test the hands of Craig King, who pushes it away out to the left hand side. Sam Matthews finds Josh Pasley breaking into the penalty area, looking for room for a shot. Curls one towards goal, strikes the arm of a Hemel Hempstead defender. Referee waves play on. Still alive, Sam Matthews. He'll cross, drops to Paul Rooney. Can he shoot from the right side of the area? Red shirts in front of him, it's cleared away. Well, Hamilton Waterloo will protest, and certainly from where we're sitting, Adam, that looked like that struck a hand in the penalty yeah. area after Pasley curled it with the outside of his right boot. Yeah, really bizarre decision, I think. I think that has smacked the arm of the, um, of the Hemel man, but... Waterloo were furious that wasn't given. Early controversy, but the best chance of the game remains. Hemel Hempstead's one-on-one -on -one with Luke Holness, which Sharman Lowe did expertly to save. Another chance for Holness, and Sharman Lowe saves again. But that time, offside flag up, hence why we were a little late to it. It's just assumed that one would be given. So Matthews corner kick from the right wing. In swinger, left arm up in the air from Matthews. White shirts around the six yard box, in towards Craig King, almost scored directly from it. Still alive for the Hawks with Joe Osler. Edge of the six yard box, gets it out of his feet, shoots, blocked behind, now the Hawks corner. Sent forward long by Hemel Hempstead. Joe Newton tries to play it back up to foul. Foul looks back for Rooney, he's been bundled off the ball by Holness. Hemel bearing down on the Hamilton Water Louisville goal. Holness, wonderful footwork, fantastic goal. Luke Holness with a moment of real quality to give the Tudors the lead. Broke into the right hand side of the area, lost the attentions of his man, shifted it onto the right foot and just guided it with the outside of his right boot into the bottom left hand corner. But Hemel Hempstead clearing, that clearance has turned into a pass because Luke Holness in behind again. Josh Pasley inadvertently playing in George Williams right hand side of the penalty area Hemel Hempstead looking to double their lead and a block from Joash Nemhard prevents them from doing so figures standing towards the back of the penalty area chance to cross an in swinger from the right wing bodies moving in unison it's gone deep towards the back post free header which will bounce into the back of the net Hemel Hempstead have doubled their advantage and it's Josh Hill the skipper that nodded down and in at the back post Foul able to control and step past Bailey Brown, trying to get the Hawks going in the right direction. Jake McCarthy to Sam Matthews, Pasley on the overlap, into Pasley, right side of the area, tries to chip it towards the back post, into the arms of Craig King. Final ball, not enough there from Josh Pasley. Four Hemel Hempstead defenders back to block that Josh Pasley cross. There wasn't quite enough pace about the counter-attack. It will be a Hawks corner kick though. Again, white shirts spreading themselves around the 18-yard box. Towards the back post, Nemhard back across goal. Rooney controls, lays off for Miller Rodney to strike from range. But it was always rising on the half volley and he leans back and sweeps it over the top, Adam. Here's Roberts on the left flank now. Newton for company, Roberts full of life, fresh off the bench. Still going, James Roberts, tries a shot from range. Never had the power behind it. In fact, I think it was a cross come shot. He was just hoping someone might try and deflect that on its way through because normally we'd see James Roberts really unleash all the power he had in that right boot from there and he just then Hawks have changed the picture they're now on the left wing with Newton on the overlap from James Roberts lifts one towards the near post Hamel Hempstead win the first header through Westbrook Bailey Brown the second Miller Rodney just bundles into the back of his man Williams but the free kick is not given the Hawks are scrapping and scraping for the ball and Josh Joash Nemhard's lost out and now there's real problems for the Hawks because Williams and Holness are leading a counter-attack. Osler stood through Holness at the edge of the area. And the Hawks could be in serious trouble. Red card. Osler sent off. The Hawks have lost a man again. Didn't use him. And now the Hawks can take advantage. And a big challenge comes in from Westbrook on Mo Fowl. Certainly physical. Looked from where I was sitting like a foul. 
Not too many appeals from Havant and Waterloo Vale, and Mofal is down in a heap there. Westbrook stepping right through him. George Williams with space to shoot from 20 yards. Williams lining one up, curled towards the bottom corner. Another fine save from Sharman Lowe to his left. So we've had a sub there in the aftermath of that as well. Havant and Waterloo Vale go short from the free kick. McCarthy plays out to Roberts. Roberts looking to get ahead of steam. Finds Keeley around the corner. Keeley spins on the ball, whips a shot towards goal, palmed over the top of the bar by Craig King. Well, there's your first meaningful shot of the game, Adam, and it comes from Callum Keeley. Haven't on Waterlooville, corner kick from the right-hand side. It really is a case of if they don't score now, when are they going to score for the Hawks? Headed towards goal, what a save by Craig King. Just about, it was just about ready to cross the line, and Craig King sprints at full speed into his own post, clatters with his post, but he does enough to get his body between the ball and the back of the net and keep it out. I don't think he knew a whole lot about that, Craig King. It was just instinct, it was just reflex. Ben Schroll, or Joe Newton, that is, waits back inside his own half. Short it goes to Roberts. Roberts to curl one in. Deflects away to Miller Rodney. 18 yards from goal. Shifts it onto his left foot. Strikes over the top of the bar. Game where there's not been much to run for. And that will do it here at Vauxhall Road. Hamel Hempstead triumph 2-0 on home soil over Haven and Waterlooville.